What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we are going to bring you some video game news. Our first topic of video games is Gameloft, the company behind Disney's Dreamlight Valley, has announced that it is working on a Dungeons & Dragons life sim set in the Baldur's Gate 3 universe. Uh, most games for Dungeons & Dragons are set in the Baldur's Gate 3 yeah. universe. Yeah. It's all the same universe. But it is cool that they're making a Dungeons & Dragons life sim game. That'll be pretty fun. Uh, game Loft says it's going to be a hybrid of survival sims and action RPGs, which already kind of sounds like Baldur's Gate. Just I feel like they'll throw more house building kind yeah, of thing I'm trying in to think, What was that game where you got to play as like God and you were like doing tribes and like you could cause floods and all this stuff but it almost makes me sound it sounds that. like some civilization but different kind yeah kind of like yeah so I'm, I'm, I don't know why that made me think of that uh, evolution game that I cannot think oh, of oh that was right fun now. where you yeah. got to pick like a sport wasn't it spore spore yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. game was so good that was yeah. a good game but uh, this this <laughs> but this game <laughs> <laughs> this oh. game sounds pretty good too uh, I mean I'm down with anything Baldur's Gate so yeah. I'll definitely pick that one up uh, we haven't gotten a release date or anything on it they just announced that they're in production. Right yeah. on. Uh, uh, next topic we got Summer Game Fest is coming June oh. 7th, 2024. This is the replacement of E3 when E3 stopped being E3. Yeah. yeah. Stopped doing it live when, you know. Yeah. Well, online. Uh, this is going to take place at YouTube Theater in LA's Hollywood Park. So you can buy tickets and go to that in person. Uh, it's going to be thousands of people, is what they're saying, and all live watching it. And then you can watch it online on. Steam, TikTok, Twitter, or X, uh, and YouTube. So I think that's all free on all those services as long as you have memberships to some of them. But Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd go watch that E3. They're going to have uh, new video game announcements, first looks, and trailers. They for... say what companies are or aren't going? They haven't said all the companies that are coming yet, but if this is the replacement of E3, they're going to get a lot of indie companies and they're going to get a lot of huge companies coming in to reveal their big games coming It would out. be really cool to see something new on Elder Scrolls. That would be cool. I that Are we getting Elder Scrolls 6? Are we getting a new one? Yeah. It's been confirmed. It, it is has confirmed, been confirmed. But I'm thinking by 2028, but I would still like to see something I would new. like to see something on there, yeah. Uh, last one I got. I have Screen Rant ranked the 10 best video game movies of all time. Okay. And I figured I would crush your hopes and dreams of seeing your favorites on here and let you guess what you think are in the top 10. If you can just get, rattle off a few for me and I'll let you know if they're in the top 10. Final Fantasy. No. Advent Children's Advent on top 10. No, not even right. on there. Resident the, Evil. I would say these are video game movies as in I think... Based off, no, no, I guess it could be an animated movie. Yeah, there's a few on here that are slightly animated. Resident yeah. Evil. Um, no, no, Resident Evil is not on here. <laughs> Doom with The Rock. No, nope. that's, I, I had the same thought, yeah. All right, all right. None of them <laughs> the same thought. Alien? No, and technically I think Alien would be movie and then game. Okay. Yeah, this is game to movie. Game to movie. Yeah. All right, um. Laura Croft, Tomb the Raider. Tomb Raider is on here, but not the 90s one. The 2018 Tomb Raider that nobody saw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let me read them off here. Number 10, which I found the most disappointing to be on number 10, is the Warcraft movie from 2016. Oh, I should have thought of Warcraft. I movie. thought that would be so much higher up on the list. Wait, that I was enjoyed 10? it. That was number 10. That was an amazing movie. Yeah. Above that is Mortal Kombat, but not the classic Mortal Kombat, the brand new 2021 Mortal Kombat. The classic Overnight. was amazing. Though. The classic it was, was so amazing. Good. Even the sequel to the classic was amazing. The new one was good, yeah. but it's... Yeah, it's spent too much on special effects. It was, the fights weren't good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, number eight, I've never played the game for this, and I've never seen the movie, so I can't speak on it, but Werewolves Within from 2021... Never heard of it. Never yeah, it. so we'll just skip over that. <laughs> Number seven, Tomb Raider, 2018. Okay. Number six, Gran Turismo, 2023, the one that just okay. came out. Okay. I haven't seen haven't the, seen movie, the yet. movie yet. Video but games, the games are classic. Great. Yeah. yeah. Number five, Sonic the Hedgehog, two from 2022. I didn't yeah. think of Sonic. Yeah. Oh, Pokemon the movie. Pikachu Detective, right? That is our number one is yeah. Detective Pikachu. Oh my god, it before he said it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number four, the Angry Birds movie two <laughs> from 2019. Not the first one, the second I didn't one. Know there was an Angry Birds movie. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh, number three, the Super Mario Bros. movie from 2023. Yeah, that was I good. mean, I think the classic 90s one is way better. <laughs> 
horrifying. <laughs> and number two before Detective Pikachu and number one is the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie from 2020. Okay. Yeah. But that is Screen Rant's rankings, and I don't really agree with a lot of they that. They went very PG with a lot of them. They did, yeah. I'm I would say... Not a single Resident Evil made it in there. Yeah. Oh. I would say Resident Evil absolutely is up there. Final Fantasy is up there for one of the animated yeah. movies. Doom yeah. with The Rock. I, I mean, think... That was still pretty good. Yeah, I think Warcraft needs to be higher up there. You need to take off Tomb Raider and put the classic one in there with uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. A yeah. lot of this needs to be changed. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but I guess... Yeah. At least they had some good movies on it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Well, I got, we have Elden Ring, The Shadow of the Erd Tree, as we talked about last week. Um, what were the week before? The DLC is coming out. You yeah. can pre-order it. It's going to be a nice, huge DLC. But something that's really cool is they're already offering a discounted bundle. So if you check it out at Fanatical, you can get it for $5 off. So if you're balling on a budget... Go ahead and pick it up. Five dollars cheaper. Falling it's pretty out cool. Of budget. Oh yeah, you never know. They're all. If you haven't played it as well, they're offering bundles for the game and the DLC. Okay, I'm I'm excited for it. I I kind of dropped out of the ring a little bit when it started becoming like anime type battles where you disappearing on the spot and flying through the air doing yeah. shit. It's not really a Dark Souls game anymore. No, at that they point. went too fast paced and like yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah, I almost feel like I'm playing like a Goku level exactly, kind of guy. Yeah. Um, but I, I like doing classic builds through it still and playing. So I, I might pick builds. up the DLC and just do my magic build. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That'll be fun. Uh, we also got Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. It's getting a new story DLC, new modes and trials, and more this year, which is pretty big news. I mean, it came out in January, so yeah. it was like, what, last month, month, month ago, two I months ago? I haven't played a Prince of Persia game since like the 2005 one or whatever it was. This one is amazing, actually. It, uh, what, I have it here somewhere. On uh, Game Informer, it's still in the top score reviews for like gamers actually going in and being like, hey, this game's good. It's still on the I top list. I feel like they tried to be Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed, and it did not work. True. And hopefully this one's better, because I haven't played the first ones were a little rough, yet. but... The, it, anyways, the roadmap is out for 2024. Tons of stuff is going to be added. And the best part of all, it's all free. You get every bit of it for free. All you have to do is own the game, all the DLCs, everything that's coming. That's solid. Uh, they have no dates or anything out and no, like, official news, like, details on it. It just says, like, new mode, new trial modes, and things oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. so. But I'm should down be pretty with anything cool. that comes out free when you've already purchased the game. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Normally, it's a solid business like tactic. Shall- uh, Elden Ring, $35, got to buy it. So yeah. Free DLC, way to go, Prince of Persia. And in great news, we have Endless Oceans Luminous. For those of you that don't know, Endless Oceans is a exclusive series to Nintendo Switch, and Luminous will be the third title in its series. Now, if... I feel like I've talked about this before. This is the, like, ocean ex- exploration sim kind of thing. Yeah, okay. So I don't feel like it's, like, scary. I mean, unless you got, like, thalassophobia or something like that. Right. But uh, I think it's more, like, beautiful artwork yeah. kind yeah, of. It yeah, it all looked very majestic. It said that there's going to be 500 unique creatures that you can interact with. Okay. So maybe you'll be able to, like, maybe tame whales and ride them or something, kind of like some sort of arc vibe. Interesting. I'm not sure. They, they need to adapt this to the VR probably. That would be that fun. Would be the way Swimming to go. under the yeah. ocean in VR. That would be fun. Uh, the cool part about it, though, is you can actually explore in private lobbies of up to 29 friends. So 30 people private lobbies, which is pretty cool. Interesting. And mm-hmm. it is potential they might open it up into matchmaking, but they haven't said. Matchmaking? What are you personally? Uh, well, no, to where you could just be like, I want to join a lobby. Okay. You're thrown in with 18, 20 random people playing and exploring. All right, all right. Kind of like, a, you know, Grand Theft Auto lobby. Yeah, yeah. So that would be cool. And it has a $50 price tag, and it's dropping May 2nd. Okay. So it should be pretty cool if you like exploration games and ocean and all that good jazz. But that's all I've got for my video game news. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And I just wanted to say we have merch that has come out. They are sweatshirts with us on them and our logo on the front of them. Head over to newschoolproject.us to pick those up. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get there fast. We also have more videos and reels like this that we do all the time. Go and check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok for all those new school project, new school gaming stuff. Uh, But thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week with more videos and reels for you. Mm